Hey, it's James Patenza, that new home realtor. We're out at Veranda, and this is one of my client's homes being built. It is a Sitterly home, and this is the first time I've, I've uh, watched one of these go up, and I wanted to point out a couple of things. We'll, we'll obviously go take a look inside, um, but uh, let's go see how good Sitterly makes a home. All right, so like I said, we're in Veranda. This is a Sitterly home in Richmond, Texas. So this is the pre-sheetrock stage. They've got most of the mechanical, the plumbing, electrical, uh, drain lines, vent lines. I believe they have the HVAC system in as well. Yeah. So yeah, so the all the air conditioner um, internal parts are up there. So this is a great time, and in fact, it's the best time to get a home inspection, which my clients just left. They just left with their um, after their home inspection, and I met with them to go over that. And it's a good good time to get an inspection because. You can see between the walls. You can see all of the stuff. Once they cover it up with sheetrock, um, you won't be able to tell what's going on. So the inspector will look at all the framing aspects. All of the drain lines. Plumbing. So that's uh, PEX plumbing, uh, hot and cold. That runs throughout the entire house. Uh, they're gonna look for nail guards. Gotta have those. So yeah, this is gonna be a beautiful, beautiful home. Backs up to a lake. There's a beautiful lake view, covered patio. Uh, I think they have a gas line for a grill. Yep, gas line. So you can actually build a whole outdoor kitchen right there. So anytime you have a large span like that, it goes from there all the way to there without any support columns, you're going to have that super strong, super uh, thick piece of uh, board that they actually manufacture. To be able to withstand that load but you have to put that load down to the slab so it transfers all of that load down to the slab and that's why they put so many of these let it together i'm really impressed by the way the way they did that i like that a lot so here's your master bedroom again beautiful lake view That's going to be a wonderful bathroom. It's going to be the shower. It's going to be the tub, the nice window. This thing is going to be nice. Plenty of room. This is almost the size of a bedroom. And here's your closet. Very nice. And guys, we talked about this floor plan and I, how much I commented on the cathedral ceiling. Uh, you have two of them. One in here. And of course, there's your kitchen. And one in here. Dining. <clears throat> and we talked about these two. Anytime you have oriented strand board on the interior, that's going to be what's called a shear wall.
And we also talked about the in fact, this is the only time I've ever seen this. To put extra braces in between the two by fours on an interior wall, and they even put them here too. They don't necessarily have to do that because really these two by fours are not so much structural as they are just a place to hang the sheetrock. So once you hang the sheetrock, then they're not going to go back and forth. But they went ahead and put these throughout the entire house. So that's a good thing. So far, I am loving the way Sidley Homes is building this. Looking good.